the reign of the dinosaurs ended 65 million years ago. They have managed to capture the imagination of millions of people all over the globe. And among them, the one which is most widely recognized by the popular culture is T-Rex or the Tyrant Lizard King. T-Rex was considered as the biggest monster by the popular culture. But all of it suddenly changed when a famous paleontologist called Jack Horner argued that T-Rex was a scavenger. So what I am going to do is to analyze his scavenger theory and present you 8 conclusive evidence to prove that T-Rex was an active predator and not a scavenger. So let's begin. Point number 8. No carnivore is born with the reputation of an active predator or scavenger. It all depends upon situations. So what I am saying is the behavior of animals are beyond expectations. For example, take the case of animals of the African grasslands. We can see hyenas which are actually called as scavengers hunting in packs. And at the same time lions which are the topmost predators eating carcasses under certain situations. So behavior of animals shift between these two that is scavengers and active predators under extreme conditions. So we can conclude that any carnivorous animal is a mix of both scavenger and a predator. Point number 7. Large land carnivores can never be pure scavengers because carcasses are not easily available for sustaining the lives of predators like T-Rex. To sustain its life, a large predator needs that much food not just floating carcasses but also meat. From ecosystems of today, it is also evident that no large carnivores serve as a pure scavenger. Point number 6. Owner suggested that T-Rex is a scavenger due to lack of powerful forelimbs to hold on to struggling prey. Forelimbs of T-Rex are really tiny, only one meter long. Owner even suggested that they are vestigial organs. But recent analysis shows that the forelimbs of T-Rex have massive muscle attachment indicating great strength. Also these forelimbs have extremely thick cortical bones developed to withstand heavy load. Also, at close quarters, it may have been used for slashing its prey. Even if it is small, there are predatory dinosaurs with much smaller forelimbs like Carnotaurus and other Abelisaurids. So, can anyone call them scavengers? What's your opinion? Point number 5 T Rex was not that much slow. Owner pointed out that T Rex had longer thigh bones than shin bones and called it a slow animal incapable of chasing prey. But it's not an evidence for calling T-Rex a scavenger because most of the large predators like Giganotosaurus and Mapusaurus also had longer thigh bones than shin bones. But they are not called scavengers for that reason. Also the speed of T-Rex was estimated to be 12 miles per hour, slow but still more faster than its prey items like the Triceratops or the Hadrosaurus and the lumbering Ankylosaurus. It had speed that suits the life of a late Cretaceous predator. Point number 4. Teeth of T-Rex was not designed for scavenging. T-Rex had powerful jaws and robust teeth almost like huge daggers. Even if Horner argues that it's designed for crushing bones like modern scavengers, I don't think so. Body designs of predatory animals depends upon a number of factors and one among them is the prey itself. For example, take the case of Mapusaurus. They have meat slicing teeth since their prey are huge plant eating sauropods. At the same time, T Rex hunted equal size to prey which had huge defensive weapons and armors. So, meat slicing teeth doesn't apply there. Only robust teeth that can penetrate through armors can walk there. I think T Rex is the ultimate predator version ever created by nature. Point number 3. T-Rex had a complex brain by dinosaur standards. It had the largest brain of all giant predatory dinosaurs. It also had an enhanced ability to sense low frequency sounds. This ability is very important for a predator like T-Rex to track prey movements from long distances. Tyrannosaurus Rex also had very large olfactory bulbs and olfactory nerves in comparison to their brain sizes. It may have helped T-Rex to sense carcasses when prey is not available. 
Point number two, T-Rex had keen vision. Compared to human beings, T-Rex had 13 times stronger eyesight and had binocular vision with an ability to perceive objects that are almost 3 miles away. Such binocular vision is only known to active predators in the animal world. It has the highest depth perception of all large predatory dinosaurs. Point number 1 a lot of fossil evidences suggest that T-Rex was a predator. Scientists have uncovered the fossil of a hadrosaur who survived a T-Rex attack. The fossil contained healed bite marks, showing that the animal survived the attack. This is the best physical evidence for proving that T-Rex was a predator. Conclusion what I can conclude is that T-Rex was never a pure scavenger but was a mix of both scavenger and a predator, like other carnivores. The scavenger theory is one-sided and the great paleontologist Jack Horner failed to present proofs for calling T-Rex a scavenger. What I can say is, it was the ultimate predator version in the history of dinosaur evolution.